who do we recommend PGT for? What is that PGT testing? We've talked about this before, but I do want to mention it here because it's an important thing that comes up. I deal with it really every single day with folks who may have a misunderstanding about really what the PGT is and how it might help us. PGT is pre-implantation genetic testing. And the most common we use is PGTA, which is pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy. What does aneuploidy mean? It means for abnormal chromosomes. Trisomy 21 Down syndrome, every type of abnormal chromosome they can find on PGT testing. I think the best use of PGT is for folks who have recurrent pregnancy loss. In the case of recurrent pregnancy loss, the most common reason that people will have a miscarriage is due to a chromosomal issue with the pregnancy itself. PGT testing is very useful in that group. I think PGTA falls down and where people don't have a good understanding of it. PGT is not designed to tell you if you are going to have a normal baby because in most cases, abnormal embryos in IVF simply don't implant. So it's not that you have to do PGT testing because you want to have a normal baby. Everyone wants to have a normal baby.